The president may have been in Florida last night, but he was eyeing Alabama, as David said, just on the border there, and he was encouraging his followers to vote for Roy Moore. That's right. The president telling the crowd Moore's their man. ABC Stephanie Ramos continues our coverage. While across the border in Florida, President Trump fully endorsing and battled Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore just three days before the election. So get out and vote for Roy Moore. Do it. Overnight at Trump's rally in Pensacola, Florida, his supporters. They're lying. A lot of those women are lying. Fired up and standing by Moore. This guy's screaming, we want Roy Moore. He's right. As Trump praised Moore, the Senate candidate took to Twitter, directly quoting the president's support. This as Beverly Nelson, one of the eight women accusing Moore of a range of inappropriate sexual misconduct, speaks out. He was trying to pull me toward in between his legs. It was terrible. Nelson defending her accusations with evidence, her high school yearbook, with the message she says was written and signed by Moore, but for the first time acknowledging she wrote the other note beside that signature. Nelson and her lawyer said she did so to remember how she came to have that autograph. Moore's team denying the allegation, claiming he doesn't even know her. And we demanded that they turn over the yearbook so that we could test the ink, test the writing and test everything. The president, who faced 13 sexual misconduct allegations during his own campaign, questioning the legitimacy of Nelson's accusations. You know the yearbook? Did you see that? There was a little mistake made. She started writing things in the yearbook. Trump making it abundantly clear where he stands. We need a Republican in the Senate. We need more of them. Roy Moore's Democratic opponent, Doug Jones, is scheduled to be at a number of events uh, over the weekend as he tries to win over as many people as he can. Tom, Paula. All right, Stephanie, thanks for reporting. And, and Tom, I know you have been on the campaign for yeah. this special election in Alabama. We saw the president endorse more this week. The RNC came back around. The election's Tuesday. Do you get a sense this is in the bag for more? You know, recent polls show that Moore now has some motivation. He's somehow overcome these allegations. And when you think allegations of child molestation, how could any politician overcome that? He somehow has. He's denied those allegations. His numbers are good. He has that huge boost from the president. And the president is so beloved by Republicans in Alabama. That could be the turning point in this race. But as we heard Stephanie report, Doug Jones is all over the state. He's campaigning very hard, unlike Moore, who hasn't made a public appearance since Tuesday. But he's hoping for African-American voters to turn out. So we'll see on Tuesday. I don't think it's in the bag for Moore. It's going to be a very tight race. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I want to bring in ABC News uh, political commentator uh, Koki Roberts into the conversation, joining us from South Carolina. Koki, good morning to you. And let's start right there with, with Doug Jones. Uh, do you get the sense there's anything that he could do, he's the Democratic challenger, can do to beat Roy Moore in the special election Senate race? Be very, very tough. Uh, his hope is to really turn out, as, as Tom was just saying, really turn out that African-American vote. He's got African-American politicians like Cory Booker, the senator from uh, New Jersey, down there campaigning with him. And um, I hope that white voters who are disgusted with Roy Moore stay home. Uh, that would be his best hope. And you know, it's very hard because there's no pattern of people voting Democratic in Alabama in recent years. The last exit poll we did there, which was in 2012, only 16 percent, one six percent of white women voted for Barack Obama. So it's going to be a very tough one. And more than 40 percent of people in those polls said they were evangelicals, and that's Moore's base who's trying to turn out. Interesting. Koki, if Moore does win, President Trump can take a lot of credit for it. But when Republicans were fleeing, the president stood by uh, Moore's side. If he makes it to the Senate, isn't the president inviting further scrutiny when it comes to his history with women? Well, all of this uh, uh, situation around sexual harassment with it being so much in the news and now we've got three members of Congress having to resign this week alone and who knows what's to come. Um, uh, the president is very much in the crosshairs, but he has ridden it out before and gotten elected and is likely to ride it out again unless something happens. And of course, things do keep happening. Koki Roberts for us this morning. Koki, thank you.